Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we are going to look at the 12th episode of season one of Outlander, and it's called Lollybrock. Lollybrock. <laughs> Lollybrock, and that is the name of the estate that uh, Jamie was born and raised in. So, last episode we saw that... Um, he got her to the stones, and she decided that she would rather be with him. She didn't even try and get touch the stones and see if she'd go back in time, which to me was kind of crazy because how's she going to know 100% she's going to land up back in 1944 or whatever it was? It's, you know, crazy. So, let's see where we're at now. And, um, I don't, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. I'm sure there was something significant about last episode, but let's go on and watch this one. That's a pretty song. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Oh, look at that. I did my DNA, and I'm 68%. Great Britain, and then 14% from um, Scotland, Ireland, and Wales, so. My ancestors have been walking. The aloft at birth. Oh no, everything rings are stationary. They didn't flap. And you've ridden in one? Yes, several times. I love flying. How high can you fly? Mm. Well, I don't know exactly. Thousands of feet in the air, certainly. Thousands of feet. That's a god's own view of the world's map. You sure do. It's amazing. Especially the first time you go up. I mean, everything you can see on the ground just falls away until it disappears. How old are you, Cessna? Yeah. I'm to ask. I'm 27. Oh. How old is he? I always thought you were about my age. Or younger. Are you disappointed? No. Uh, it's just that when I'm 40, you'll be 245. <laughs> <laughs> I think your Smart calculations day. are a little off. <laughs> there it is. Oh, wow. Beautiful. That is beautiful. It's like you always said it was. There were rumors. People told me afterward that. Randall had caught Jenny with a bastard child. It's rumors. No. Was Jenny his woman or Jenny his sister? Oh, wow. That's pretty. Those old stone houses. They've got some of them here in Missouri down in where my grandma was. And my mom and dad were born. That's where we got beaten. Hmm. Cassie Moore, would you rather go into the house and offer me better entertainment? Mm. Hello. Piece of shit. <laughs> Nick is a sister. <laughs> Four years and no word. <laughs> this is Mommy Jamie. This is your uncle Lucreen, the one you're named after. My sister. Would you name him after me? What's wrong with Are you ill? Do you not think I've suffered enough for what I let happen? It must name Randall's bastard after me. <gasps> Don't talk like that. You reproach as long as I live. Randall's bastard? Jack Randall, you mean the red coat captain? Correct me, brother, if I'm wrong. But I have a strong impression you're saying that I played the whore to Captain Randall. I'd rather I was dead. In my grave and see my sister brought as such. And who's is this one? Ooh. Have you ruined yourself for me? Shame enough, but <gasps> no one. For no father to give him a name. We should not come. Oh Jamie, perhaps we should not tell that troll up to keep our name out of my business. Ooh. She's my wife, and you speak of her with respect. Jamie, please. Do I have to do what I did when we were bears? Grab you by the bullets to make you stand still and listen to me. I'm not trying to shame you in front of my own wife. 
Well, if she's your wife, I imagine she's more familiar with your bowls than I am. <laughs> Don't test me, brother. Last I saw you, bloodied and broken, strung up by your wrists in that archway, and then leaving me to think you're dead or certain never to return again. And this time you come home. Whose no. child is the boy? It's not your business. Aye. Thank you. And that one too. Yeah. Your brother-in-law. Ah! Jenny Hatton. A damned fool. Yeah, pretty much. I know a day wiser in four years. Right. <laughs> he knows, she knows her brother. What happened with Randolph? I want to know. I need to know. Whoa! Ooh. Bad move. Bad move. Oh, not a good thing to laugh. That's impossible. Turn around. Yeah, I was going to say, that's going to cost you a smack or two. Too. I don't know why. It was the only thing that came to my mind to do. <laughs> but he didn't like it. Ah, uh, uh, you think? When I laughed, and I could see that, so I laughed some more. <laughs> Which made him not be able to get it up anyway. <laughs> You're lucky he didn't kill you. He sighed that. <laughs> when I woke up, he was gone. And that's the last I saw of Captain Randall. Did he rape you? You satisfied? He said you were wrong, and I'm expecting an apology. Mm -hmm. Well, I know said as much. No, you haven't. Mm -hmm. She's right. She Thank you. An apology. Siri. I'm your husband. You must have been embarrassing in front of my family and the servants. You're doing a fine job of that yourself. And you've a sharp tongue, Claire. Yeah, and she's used to speak in her mind. But there's a time and a place, right? We should both conduct ourselves as such. I'm not the meek and obedient type. I don't think anyone would ever make that mistake, Sassanari. <laughs> but then, I don't think anyone would ever say the same of Colin's wife, either. Letitia? Right. Strong woman. Respected. Feared even. But she never crossed her husband's word in public. Oh, yeah. Now, behind closed doors. That's disrespectful. Let's mm -hmm. just say my uncle does his share of crockery in his thing. <laughs> Careful, my lad. I have a much better throwing on than the fair Letitia. <laughs> That's right, you tell him. My father, you built this place again. His blood and sweat are in this stone. Wow. When was the last time you saw your father? It's a shame that you and I got off to such a poor start. Only a week before, you'd had me flogged and you to death. I didn't understand. You couldn't uh, imagine what he was talking about now. And you bandied. Words around for a while. He likes to do that. He likes to play with his toys. But in the end, he was quite blunt about what he really wanted. Which is what? Me. It's quite simple. Give over to me. Make free of your body. For what? And there will be no second flogging. What does that mean? If not... <sighs> well... Like have sex with him? Is that what he's talking about? The first stripes were still... Yeah. ...on my back. I could scarce spare my shirt. Oh my god. And I felt busy. Yeah. Every time I stood up. 
Kind of lost blood. Sort of. Of going through it all again. Being bound. Helpless. Sweet Jesus. Mm. Waiting for the next lash. Mm. I had no real idea, of course, but I thought being buggered would be less painful. Buggered? What does that mean? Over quicker, most likely. And he said I'd be set free the same day, so. No. He said yes. So, I considered it. Buggery. Do Does that mean you have sex? Somebody answer me. <laughs> oh, oh. Sweet mother of God. Oh. Do go to stair. The flogging. <laughs> Father, too, though. Oh, my God. I didn't know it at the time. <laughs> oh, he needs to pay the bastard. Well, Sweet Jesus. Soon. You are gone. I thought I was dead. Oh, I hope to God that he gets his in the end. Do said. You let out a small sound and drop like a rock. <gasps> no, he died. Oh my God. Oh. I didn't see him. Thank God. I didn't see him dying. Oh my God. I didn't see him taken away. Mm, mm, mm. Didn't seem buried. Wow. Makes me embarrassed to be have a descendants like that. I hope you got my distant relatives weren't the bad people. But it sounds like if I'm 68% from Great Britain, it probably is. Hello. Uh, pleased to have you back. Hope we'll find it home for the long now. I'll see you around. This is but half of what you owe. Apologies, but we lost one of our cows to sickness two months ago. Well, you can settle up the next squadron, but well, certain things will be better. I appreciate your understanding and mercy. Well, not mercy at all. Well, your father was a good man. From this land when I was about to bail. Give me that. I'll not squeeze the last penny from you when times are hard. That was my father's view. Mine as well. What? You put that fucking cheeky wee bastard. Whoa. Excuse me. He's a pretty dog on the stuff. Maybe find you something tasty with bats. What time we here then? If he prays or thinks he can be a better father, he can damn well pay for his upkeep. And he was only trying to help the boy out. And clean clothes and barracks aren't going to stop the boy from being beaten. Do you think life just started when the two of you walked through that door? Rabbi's granny and I were working on Ronald's sister to take the boy. Did you not even consider talking to me before you pulled out your fists? Do you think that's how father would have handled things? Ooh. I am the head of this estate now, and I do not need to discuss the running of it with my sister. Ooh. Begging your pardon, Laird Brochtura. You'll freeze to death! Hi, <laughs> butt hanging out. Most likely. At least you'll be able to sell decent barracks in my wake. Oh, heck. This crook told me this stupid fool would come up here. Jenny, you shouldn't be chasing around in your condition. There was no need for you to come after us. Either was. Oh shit. Oh shit. Here they come. Hide. Oh, get underwater. Keep silent. We don't want them to know you're in rush. Tomorrow. If you're stopped for a bag of meal, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed, and Elfio's no working just now. Perhaps next time you come this way. Oh. What's the miss then? You should call your master back. You shouldn't meddle in things he doesn't understand. I'll leave no clue for where this is. 
Paul was farther out of the wheat than in Hampshire. But he doesn't know about water wheels or shooting the shoe. Look at that! It's Scotland, sir. Ladies. Thank you kindly, sir. Here! No, you and I. Bless Michael Defenders. What the hell were you doing, you muggle great stump? Have you not grown up a bit? Jenny, will you, will you please turn it over? I'm trying to get out before the cock snaps off. <laughs> Oh, he never saw his back. Good. Now I have your attention. And you're going to listen to me. I did not marry the Laird of Lallybroch. I married Jamie, but I haven't seen much of him since we walked through the gates of this place. That's true, I am. I am nervous. speaking, and you can talk when I'm finished. Ooh, I heard that. Your father's dead, Jamie. But if he were here... I wager he'd give you a thrashing for the way you've been acting. You're trying to be someone you're not. Right. And in the process, you're wrecking the family that you do have left. And if you're not careful, you're going to lose them too. Hmm. That is a beautiful country. Look at that. Wow. She came up there. Oh, well, that's his sister. Okay. He still hasn't come up there to the cemetery? Oh, there he is. Good. Jenny. Jenny and Jamie. Give me a start. Thought it was a ghost for a minute, did you? Jamie, I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me speak first, please. I was wrong not to consult you, and I'm sorry for it. Oh, good. Try. How to do it different in the future. I'm the one who's wronged you, and I'm so ashamed. Of what? Ever since father died, a small, dark part of me has blamed you for this day. Oh. When they told me what happened at Fort William, mm. that Randall flogged himself and that seeing that is what killed father, I thought... You must have done something to bring it upon yourself. Shot your mouth off or acted without thinking of the consequences as you have done all your life. <laughs> but then out at the mill pond, when I saw the scars on your back, yeah, yeah, scars made by a lash laid down with such fury. It was me, it's my fault that Randall beat you so. But I do. That day, that day when Randall came here, when he took me upstairs, if I hadn't mocked him that way, if I, if I'd given him what he wanted, he wouldn't have treated you like he did with them other. I know. Don't. He would have beat him anyway, because he's an ass. I would have gladly died to spare you. And if your life is a suitable exchange for my honor, tell me why my honor is not a suitable exchange for your life. Are you telling me that I may not love you as much as you love me? Because if you are, Jimmy, please, I'll tell you right now, it's not true. <laughs> oh, cute. They're a pair. <laughs> Welcome home. Oh. Laird broke to her. You're right. <laughs> okay, something's wrong. There's obviously... Nothing can be right enough. for so long. What right did you come to this house without I've heard enough from the likes of you? Oh, you stay silent as a lamb, my friend. Uh oh, who's that? Well, this lovely lass is going to be scrubbing your brains off the floor. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, there's always something in there. You got this little bit of peace and little bit of love and little bit of kindness and all that warm feeling, and poof, it's gone. <gasps> Drives me crazy. All right, well, um, 
we kind of got some backstory there on Jamie and his sister. And, um, boy, Captain Randall, what an ass. What an arse. Anyway, um, please leave any comments below and um, subscribe to my channel. And uh, maybe patreon.com slash mama D if you feel bad. And any comments below, I might have said that already. And we will see you on the next video. Peace out.